Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to look at the Radford family and explore them a little more, so make sure to watch till the end. Recently, they came up with their brand new series of 22 kids, and they're still growing their family. The Radford family lives in a small coastal town of Haysham. Sue and Noel are the happy couple in their 50s and are parents to Chris, 32, Sophie, 27, Chloe, 26, Jack, 24, Daniel, 22, Luke, 21, Millie, 20, Katie, 19, James, 18, Ellie, 16, Amy, 15, Josh, 14, Max, 12, Tilly, 11, Oscar, 10, Casper, 9, Howley, 6, Phoebe, 5, Archie, 4, Bonnie, 3, and Heidi, 1. The biggest family also means that the house is a busy household. The pair spends 400 euros a week just on groceries. Three months' worth of rations and the stock is empty in a week, and that's just for the typical ways of living for them. But they're doing very well for a household of that size with a couple of luxuries in life. Family holidays, a Range Rover car, and a lot more. Their shopping list comprises 4 loaves of bread per day with 16 pints of milk, 3 tubes of toothpaste, and 24 toilet rolls that can be consumed in a week. How can they arrange for them to spend 1600 euros a month just on daily essentials and supplies and yet manage to have the money for all the other expensive things? We've done the math and brought to you some sources. Their income sources. The Radfords' primary source of wealth is a family business that's existed since 1999, Noel's family bakery company known as the Radford Pie Company. The Radford Pie Company is found near this family house in Morakam, Lancashire, and the company is run by the family with Sue, the wife, overseeing all the orders, and their daughter Chloe trained as a baker. With the family invested in the family business, things cannot go wrong. They don't have any other sources of revenue, but then that's when YouTube comes into the scene. They do anything to keep their business up and operating, and YouTube has played a crucial role in it. They aren't exactly secret millionaires, and they're working very hard to keep up with their spending. A family of that amount will gather attention, and naturally, she's been criticized for their family spending, but they cannot possibly rely only on their family business for a living. They work incredibly hard on their social media and filming, as well as just to keep up with the expenses. They have been creating videos and documentaries since 2014, the time when they had 15 kids and counting, and as of today, the time of writing. They've gathered a massive fan following of 345,000 subscribers and have more than 340 videos under their name. This opened ways for other sources of income like brand alliances on their social media, with Sue publishing advertisements on her social media Instagram account regularly. With most of them living under the very ceiling, some of the older ones pay a tiny fraction of rent and or bills to their parents. But Noelle and Sue want them to have their own lives and so they pay only a little amount. Chloe said that she's stashing up cash for her own house and so they cannot do much, but the parents adore how their children are just so supportive of them. Sue, being the lovely mother that she is, has always asked her to save enough as renting a place is dead money. Paying rent every month for a living seems like an unnecessary expense when they have a house and that's not a brilliant idea. I mean, Chloe should rather save up and start something as a revenue source and work on it instead of renting a place. Their net worth is estimated to be about $146,000 with more than 600,000 views. They can make about $3 to $7 per thousand views. They can make anywhere from two grand a month, but they also do brand sponsorships and that adds to their revenue. But it seems like a heavy chunk of their earnings comes from a TV show airing on Channel 5 which documents their life as the biggest family in England. So to sum it all up, they have a family business, they make money from YouTube and brand sponsorships. We'd like to wish them prosperity in all of their endeavors, and if you haven't seen them yet, there's a link to their channel in their description box. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one.